Hello Stepper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm Frenz Martin in the US at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I'm going to share with you the new gadget that we got. I say gadget, I don't know if that's a good word, but it is a stamp cleaning pad. Um, it's very interesting, very uh, fun to see how it works. And I'm going to share also the other solution that we got about our uh, all the stamping solution and the do and don't put it that way so first thing i want to share about this new um pad you see it's the same size then uh like the memento ink and that but it's way thicker okay <coughs> excuse me we do have a refill so when it gets dry and so on, you can buy the refill. Everything I'm talking about today, it's going to be on page 182 and 183 of the 2019-2020 uh, catalog, annual catalog with stamping up. So we got the chamois. Uh, this is the, the new one. It's a new right there. And you get the, the pad for $7.50 and the pad refill for $3.75. And then I'm going to talk about the Stazon cleaner and the mist and the stamping scrubs. So everything I will talk about, even the clear stamps uh, case, it's on page 182 and 184, uh, 83. Sorry. So this year I want to bring something to your attention before we get started. If you look at, I kept this, that is shoved in, in the back there. It comes all the seal wrap. It's shoved in the back. A lot of us, we don't read direction. We just know, we think we know what to do and throw the direction. I'm very guilty at that. For some reason, this got my attention. It's a uh, remove classic uh, stamping aim and craft stamping aim from rubber and photopolymer. Warning, CNB warning. To avoid damaging a photopolymer and cling stamp, use water to rinse the cleaning solution from the stamp as soon as possible well the red rubber surface really when i talk about the red rubber it is uh, this here that oh, it won't damage that it is the stickiness from that so if you scrub it a lot and it go on that stickiness then that what's going to damage our sticker also while i'm talking about the cling it is a no-no to use the stays on cleaner with it with cling and the reason why again it's for that uh, sticky the sticker in the back it will not damage the surface of the rubber but you know when we scrub it can go on the side and that would damage the sticker so many are going to ask me well why having the stays on cleaner because I do not recommend it, and it's not recommended neither on photopolymer. So if you use this, my best advice on, let's say, uh, this, it would be to very gently tap it, to very gently, and then take a nicely rag, and make sure it don't go on the side. If your stamp gets stained, don't worry about it. It's still gonna work very lovely. And I understand some people like it clean. Well, I'm gonna share a few tips with you today. So let's back up the bus and uh, talking about the Stazon cleaner. It's a big no-no on photopolymer. So, and the reason uh, why really this is not just to go on the side and that it will, in the long run, and not that much of a long run, it, this is the old fashioned one here before they changed the way it was sticking on, um, it will damage your photopolymer and yes, that will, can chew up that photopolymer part and then that would not stand correctly. So, stays on, do not belong the stays on cleaner you can always use your photopolymer stays on and i'm going to share a tip with that the stays on cleaner it's a no-no on the photopolymer okay enough of this if you want to use the stays on cleaner and i should have brought something to write here not write but stamp on let me see if i get 
there we go let me use this sheet here so if I want to use my stays on my best advice it's use a versa marking first and you will see why so when I use the versa marking it leaves a layer on top of my uh, stays on I mean on top of my uh, photopolymer then I'm going to use my stays on and then I can stamp see and it stops a lot of the stickiness to with the stays on now like I said absolutely no 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 on the let me think on oh, the stays on cleaner on this so now you can use your stamping uh, pad it don't say on it for stays on though but I think it is okay I think what I like to do, I like to keep this in my hand. Why it's red, you're going to see it in a minute. Usually it's completely clear when you get it. I go like this. Whoops. And see, it come right off. Remember the warning. What the warning say? You have to rinse that with water right away. So I spritz water there. I recommend, this is sliding because it was wet. I recommend that you using running water for this. And the reason why I'm saying running water, because right now I just contaminated uh, this here. I'm going to have to make sure that it's rinsed very lovely. So you see the black, it's gone, and even some of the red. So that's, I would use that for this part of it. Now, another thing that uh, this is great for, um, the photopolymer, when it's used with, um, you can see any type of dark color like cherry cobbler. Uh, this, I took the, the most loved stamp set I think I got. Uh, photopolymer, if you use it with like uh, melon mumbo, uh, it can be cherry cobbler, real red, and so on. It really stands the, the photopolymer. That's just what it is. So I get one here that didn't been stamped with one of those colors, but I'm going to share with you what it does. So I'm going to use my Melon Mambo. It seemed to be uh, one that do stand a lot. One of the things that you can do also to stop the staining, it would be if you use the Versamark first, I'm going to do it both ways so you can see. I'm going to use my Versamark, then I come on my ink pad, stamp it, and you see it's still kind of red there, but watch what's going to happen. I'm just going to wipe it right now because I got solution there. And you see it is gone, right? So that would be one thing, but you have to remember to do it in Versamark. Let's say you don't want to do it in Versamark. Now I'm going to come here, stamp, stamp, stamp. And again, I'm going to do it a few times to make it sure it's stained. And let's say that just a few times won't really stand your uh, photopolymer. It takes a, a while. I mean, you know, quite a bit of stamping, but it really does stand. Now, I'm going to use, to show you the difference, I'm going to use the stamping mist. The stamping mist, this is, is the mist bottle, and you can buy the refill for it. So I'm going to spray that over here at this corner. Oh, my bottle is almost empty. And then I'm going to clean this and clean this. You see, I still have some red on it, red or pink or whatever. You can see the tone I bet on this. And as you use it more, it would stain more. Just like dropping Kool-Aid, once you rinse it and drop again Kool-Aid, well, it's gonna stain very uh, deeper. So now what you can do, it's use your stamping cleaning pad. So, and what I'm gonna do, it's take this, rub this on, and then all my red will be removed. Oops, I forgot one thing. What you want to do, it's spray wet water, because that's what you have to do. It's rinse it. This year, soon I'm done, I, it's going to go get washed, because right now I feel like I get that solution everywhere. So I'm going to come here. Et voila, the red, the pink, it's pretty much all gone. So, and that is why they came up with this, because some people really like it clean. You see this one been stained here quite a bit. I 
clean it once but it's still some red so you can come and really rub this up here and I'm gonna barely have anything and like I said you see these stamps here been very very well loved this I, I get all kind of stuff on it uh, it's been very well loved so um, it's been stand for a long time so if it take most of it away whoops you know that if you do it right away it's going to come right off so that's the new uh, stamp cleaner and like I said you can buy the refill the refill is the same size than an ink refill the same thing so when you see it's get dry and so on you can uh, clean that so you're going to see a lot of it it's gone you still can see a bit of pinkish but compared to let me show you another one you can see it's quite a bit lighter so if you do it right away it's pretty much going to take care of it let's remove that so that is about our stamping uh, cleaning pad. Again, remember the warning, you want to rinse it in the water. So we cover this with the refill. This one here, you're going to see this is our first cleaner of all. You're going to see at the corner, the top corner here, you get water drops. And at this corner, you get a sunshine. So I like personally what I like to do. Let me uh, get uh, this. I like to uh, spritz on this, not my stamp set. I'm looking for my spritz. Uh, I swear stuff, oh, it rolled on the side. So I like to spritz this over here. So I don't have to spritz it for every time that I wash, you know, except if I wait days in between. I still gonna use my melon mumbo and I'm gonna stamp with this. This is a red rubber in cling. Cling means it cling on the clear thing. So you see, it's not bad at all. I'm going to come here. And another thing about the stamping mist that I absolutely love, it's condition your stamp at the same time. Et voila. Make sure it's nothing on the side there. Et voila. So this here, it's a, a rubber stamp cleaner. Uh, my, you see my bottle it's super old it look nasty I thought it say it uh, conditioned the stamp too I cannot write this uh, little print here so I can I've been told at one time that it would condition your stamp and I'm a big believer in that because when I was in Cheyenne it's super dry and my stamp stay very lovely so now we cover this the next one. Oh, no, I'm not done with this. How oh, you going to wash this? This year, I just run this in, under water. I let it soak. Uh, you know, I rinse most of it in the kitchen sink. Then I'm going to lay it flat in the sink, and I'm going to put water there and let it soak an hour or two, and then come back and rinse it, it completely. Why do I let it soak? A lot of the ink it's soaking at the bottom of that if you just rinse it it don't pull the ink from the bottom and it don't take long you think it's dirty again so if you let it soak in it's going to loose up the ink in it and then rinse it all good and i just stand it up like this to dry do not put it in the wash uh, the dishwasher and some of you been lucky that did that it didn't work so your element of your washer don't warm up like some of them other people put it in their dishwasher, that thing roll and melt and so on. So this is not to put in the dishwasher. It is not dishwasher safe. So let's move that there. Now we got the, the new thing, the chamois. So the chamois, it's going to get stained. It is normal, even if it's stained. When it starts to get that nasty color again, you're going to rinse it under water, squeeze it a bit, till the water come clean, and then you're ready to go. I keep mine in the full, the standard, this is the standard case on the same page right beside the chamois. Um, it's got a little groove, a, groove a, a little opening, so if you don't stamp for weeks at a time, yes, it's going to get dry on the side, but that is okay. You just go put, 
rinse it under the water, add it moist again, and you're ready to go. That, again, I'm sticking with the melon mumbo here, so we're all on the same page for every solution cleaner. I'm going to put that there. I don't have the, the stamping mist for that. A lot of the time, I like to just, here we go, and sometimes I'm just going to go ahead back here and there, but it's not necessary. I would say once in a while, clean it with the mist would be good, but this is perfectly fine you can turn it around and that you're going to ask me how often you're going to clean this and that is the same uh question than the other one it depends how much you stamp you're going to see when you start cleaning your stamp and it leaves like a nasty color on it it's time to rinse your uh, thing i wash mine or rinse mine a little about once a week and I stamp every day, every day, every day. This is uh, my uh, living here. So it uh, all depends. Sometimes I have to clean it more than once a week just because all the color and it's a lot of cleaning in between. But overall, I would say at least once a week for me. Oh, you see, I still have some red there. Um, so you're going to go, here we go. You got it. And then I always make sure it's, here we go. So that is all about the cleaning solution and the cleaning pads that we got. So we got the chamois, we got the uh, stamping clean pad, the, I call it the portable, and then we got the scrubber here. Um, this one here, I am, um, I use that one a lot. And especially if you get a stamp set, get a lot of little groove. For an example here, this would be a perfect, perfect example. So you see this sleeve here, all the little uh, details. So the more the detail the stamp is, I love to have this because it's kind of, it's not flat surface, so it go in between all those little crevices. So um, I am a big fan of that one. All of them are good it's no right and wrong trust me when I say it's no right and wrong they all work lovely it's depend what you like best remember need to rinse after you using this for cling stamp and photopolymer if using stays on on photopolymer you cannot use the Saison cleaner on photopolymer stamp set. It will damage your stamp. But on the rubber, the rubber, it's okay. It's the cling part that it's a no-no. So you have to be super careful with that. So that is it for today. I hope that explained a little bit the difference of the solution that we got. So uh, I don't have a refill on that yet. I did. Let's pretend that is it. So you get those two together, you get the stamping mist and the refill bottle and this. So hope that's going to help you to understand the difference in our cleaning uh, tools and solution. Thank you so much for watching and again for all your stamping of product. All the one in the U.S. just visit me at FrenchyStamps.com. Also I will have all the link for what I use today below in the description or above in the eye. Thank you and have a lovely day. Bye bye for now.